picture is there's about roughly $230 million that is going to go back to Ohio homeowners or those who own homes and lost their homes. It's based on a formula. Uh, what I would suggest uh, for the complicated who is eligible for that, I would suggest anybody who has any questions to contact the Attorney General's office and we can route them to, to the right people. Basically, the banks have the obligation under the settlement to reach out to the victims and to notify them how they can apply for this money. Quite candidly, uh, it will help a lot of people, but it's not going to make people whole. People who've lost their homes are not going to be able to go back in that same home. Uh, so it's, not, it's helpful. Uh, I might also mention that we are only part of the way there with the settlement. This only included six different services. There are other banks, other institutions that we are now going to go after. The Attorney General collectively will go after, uh, and the Justice Department will go after. So this is the beginning. There is, there is more, more to come. In addition to that $230 million, which will go out directly, will not come through my office at all. It will go out directly to the to these different victims. Uh, our office received $97 million. Of that $97 million, I've allocated $75 million for demolition projects around the state. Uh, we will set up a procedure for Mansfield, other communities will be able to apply for that money. Uh, we're looking uh, to kind of spread this money uh, or multiply this money, so we would hope that communities would be able to come up with matches uh, for that. But we will certainly work with, with the different communities. And uh, some communities have set up land banks in a sort of effective way under the current Ohio law that went into effect about three years ago. It's an effective way to deal with this. If communities don't want to do that or don't have that, we will still continue uh, to work with them. In addition to that $75 million, um, there's another $20 million pot that we have, we have taken. Uh, and community organizations, uh, nonprofit groups, um, can apply for money for that. And that money has to be used to assist people who have been damaged from the whole foreclosure crisis. And again, we will take applications for that grant money. But what we're talking about today is principally the $75 million. Um, it's not going to tear down every house that needs to be torn down in the state. Uh, we really hope to use this as a, as, a, as a catalyst, as a spark to get things going throughout the state, because it truly is uh, just a, a plague on our families in the state of Ohio uh, to have to live by these abandoned homes. And we just, no family should have to do that. No family should have to put up with that. No family should have to raise children in a neighborhood that has abandoned homes. Uh, I wouldn't want to live there. No one here would want to do it. Uh, and yet these, the people who live in these communities, in these neighborhoods, there's no fault of their own. They didn't do anything wrong. So we need to, we need to change that and we need to give them some help. That's what we're trying to do. Anybody else?